Animals that live in the forest. Black bears. Animals that live in the forest. Black bears by Joanne Early Mackin. Asleep in a den. A hungry bear cub cries. Its mother holds the baby close and feeds it milk. Then she goes back to sleep. Cubs. Black bears hibernate or sleep during the cold winter. They live on their fat until the weather turns warm. Finding food. In spring, black bears wake up and search for food. At first, they find green shoots of plants. Later, bears look for nuts and berries. Black bears also eat small animals and insects. They look for insects under rocks and logs. They dig with their claws. Black bears find food by smell. This bear has caught a fish. Bears must eat a lot in spring and summer. They must put on fat for the winter. A bear's life. Black bears have soft, thick fur. Not all black bears are black. Some are brown. Others are lighter colors. Black bears walk flat on their feet, just as people do. The bears can run faster than people can. Young cubs stay with their mothers. When danger is near, a mother bear sends her cub up a tree. The cub is safer there. Some bears gather where there is plenty of food. Most bears spend their days alone. Fast facts. Height. About 3 feet, 1 meter at the shoulder. Length. About 7 feet, 2 meters, nose to tail. Weight. Males, about 500 pounds, 227 kilograms. Females, about 300 pounds, 136 kilograms. Diet. Nuts, fruit, insects, fish, meat, and greens. Average lifespan, up to 34 years. Glossary. Claws. Sharp curved nails on an animal's foot. Cub. A baby bear or other animal. Gather. To meet. Hibernate. To go into a deep sleep for a long time. Shoots. The new growth of green plants. Index. Claws. Page 10. Cubs. Pages 4 and 18. Danger. Page 18. Feet. Page 16. Food. Pages 4, 8, 10, 12, and 20. Fur. Page 14. Hibernating. Pages 4 and 6. Running. Page 16. Sleeping. Pages 4 and 6. Walking. Page 16. About the author. Joanne Early Mackin is the author of two rhyming picture books, Sing Along Song and Cats on Judy, and more than 80 nonfiction books for children. Her poems have appeared in several children's magazines. She lives in Wisconsin with her husband and their two sons.